Hey, so this is a follow-up to my previous video uh, showing how I built a Bob Ross easel. Um, this is my kind of method for um, doing the odorless paint thinner when I'm doing my painting. And I found that this actually works really good. It's a really nice system um, for um, handling your paint thinner and kind of recycling it and reusing it and so this is what I'm doing. So basically what you need is one big gallon pickle jar and then I have three quart mason jars or ball jars whatever um, and all of these I make sure and label really well. And as you can see, I've had this one used for a while, so it's got some sediment in it. Basically, what I have is, you know, this is my box where I keep all my paint thinner supplies. And what I can do then is I start with the three jars that have paint thinner ready to go. Now this is re, um, recycled paint thinner. You can pretty much use it over and over and over again. Um, when it's all done, um, you just strain all the particulate matter out of it and then you can reuse it and it really doesn't um, lose any of its um, thinning capacity. So anyways, these quart jars are nice because they're about the perfect size to fit into the Bob Ross um, brush cleaning bucket. So basically you just pour one of these in there, you do all your painting session, and then when you're done, you dump that into Mr. Big Jar and seal that up and hang on to it. And it'll have all sorts of, you know, the painting crusty and sludge and all that stuff. And that's okay, because now you have two more whole um, clean sessions of thinner to use the same way. So now once you have this full, um, and I do three quart jars because I don't want to totally fill this up. Um, and usually, you know, every third painting session, I would go through the process of um, recycling it. So what I do then is out in the garage, I have a couple of old gallon um, metal containers where the new paint thinner came in. Um, I keep the old ones, because what I do is I put a paper funnel. Now I've tried like coffee filters and I've tried um, just regular funnels to um, strain my used um, thinner. And what I've found is actually the paper funnels that I got from Sherwin-Williams, they're paper, but then they have kind of almost like a little mesh screen in the bottom. Those seem to work the best for straining all this out. So I'll pour you know, the sludgy used thinner through there gradually, because I kind of have to pour a little bit in, let it settle, pour a little bit in, let it settle. Um, and then once I have emptied this completely out into my metal can, um, that's all new, clean, relatively clean, cleanish, thinner, that then I can pour into these jars and basically start the whole process all over again. Once you leave, once you put used thinner in this jar, everything will kind of settle towards the bottom. And eventually you'll have kind of a, an amount of sludge kind of in the bottom, you know, the leftover paint and such. And that, I will pour as much of that out of here as I can into an empty metal paint bucket. Those I can get at just the hardware store. And then I seal that up, and then once that's full, then I can take that paint bucket and basically just take that to my household hazardous waste center to pick up and they'll um, do whatever with that properly. Um, so basically that's kind of my ecosystem for um, the paint thinner. Now the paint thinner that I use, you can get the, you know, the genuine Bob Ross paint thinner. Um, but it is quite expensive, and I kind of picked up a tip that you can get, um, I believe the brand is Sunnyside Odorless Paint Thinner. 
Um, not all home centers will have that. I've actually found it just at Ace Hardware, and you can get a gallon of it for what, you know, a quart of, you know, the art store stuff costs. It's, they say it's odorless. It's still kind of bad. I mean, you'll want to have, you know, your painting room ventilated, but it's not terrible and it's cheap and it works i've used it a bunch i mean that's what this is it's just a funny side thinner and um it works quite well so that's you know a nice cheap alternative to that and um again you can basically re-strain and reuse this now this you'll see all my thinner kind of and there's there will be a little bit of settled at the bottom of these two but you know all that stuff settles to the bottom and then you can just pour this into your bucket and you're all good to go and you can basically just keep reusing and reusing and reusing eventually if you want to kind of start over clean with new um thinner you can certainly do that take your old um spent thinner to household hazardous waste and they'll um, take care of it properly but i mean just because this is green and it's predominant, it, it, even with all the different paint colors, it turns usually out kind of predominantly green for me. This isn't bad stuff. It'll have like a little bit of a tint to it, but it won't affect your painting at all.